Hello and welcome along to the Wixie Boy Kitchen. Here we are again. So, last one of the season. We're going to make the gammon. That's what we're going to do. So, what do we need for that? We need a gammon. <laughs> so, get yourself a gammon. I've got a one and a half kilo one. Um, but yeah, whatever you feel. I would say between a kilo and two kilos. Two kilos is the nice size. Um, I tend to find the longer one works better. I've actually got a horseshoe one, which is like quite fat, but it doesn't, you know, they don't sit up as well, but and slicing can be a bit, of an, a bit awkward. You have to kind of cut them in half and then slice them, I find. But that's fine, we've got that. That's what we're gonna work with. You need a two litre bottle of Dr. Pepper. That's the kind of secret to this recipe, really. Um, or cherry Coke or general coke but you want full fat coke so you want yeah definitely fat coke all the way or dr pepper not diet because you need that sugar to almost caramelize into the meat i guess i'm not sure what it, it obviously soaks up that and yeah it just creates that tender beautiful gammon um so what we're going to do is get that into a pot simmer it for a good two hours i would say an hour and a half two hours um and then Take it out, cover it in honey, mustard, all the other stuff, and then we're going to roast it. Slow roast it in the oven. We're going to put the oven on now, actually. What about, I'm going to do 170, 150 to 170. Depends how much time you've got on your hands. 150 is quite nice as well. Give it a nice slow cook. Um, you don't want to burn it, that's the trouble. You're cooking, cooking it really when you're simmering it. So let's crack on with this. So we've got it on, all we've done is put the Dr Pepper in, put the gammon in and we're boiling it at high temperature just for until it starts boiling and then we're going to simmer it for, well it's a kilo and a half this joint so I would normally say at least an hour per kilo. Um, but you could simmer it for, I mean, I, last year I, sim, I left it and went out, probably simmered it for about two hours and it was slightly smaller. So we're gonna do an hour and a half. You can sort of tell when it's, you know, a good, when it's there, shall we say. So yeah, go off and play your VR or play Minecraft or Facebook or whatever you wanna do and see you in a couple of hours. Right, so we have been simmering this now for a good two hours in the Dr. Pepper. Uh, quite a good marker really is put a meat thermometer in. If it's around 60 degrees, that's kind of what you want. So like six degrees centigrade that is. Kind of halfway, you want it about 90 to be fully cooked. So yeah, anything around 60 is good. So we've got the oven on. We need the oven on for about 150 to 170. 150 to 170. Right. Get ourselves an oven baking tray. Is that going to be big enough? Just going to line mine with a bit of tin foil just to protect it. Get yourself like some sort of cooking grill. I'm not sure this is going to be big enough. Ideally, that'd be okay actually. So we want this to crackle up nice as well, this fat. We're going to leave that on. Gonna make some little marks along it. 
just so we can get some flavour into this. Right, then we get a nice bit of mustard. So you want a uh, whole grain is good actually. Get a load of that on there. Then some clear honey. Just tip it over like this. Use a brush and get it into all those little cracks. We're not going to be shy with this honey at all. And that is pretty much it, to be honest. Put some pepper on it. And we're going to get it quite low in the oven. Um, I'm just going to do actually, what I like to do is put some water at the bottom, stop that all burning and then what will happen is any juices that will, will then won't burn and then we can use that to keep basting the thing and we will be putting some more honey on it. It's an easy thing to cook but you've got to keep sort of just keep taking care of it just through the process of cooking. You don't just bang it in the oven and go off and leave it for hours. You've got to keep bringing it out every half an hour or so or 15, 20 minutes, bring it out, give it a basting, maybe give it some more mustard. You're just caring for it like it's one of your children, you know? So just bear that in mind. Right, we are gonna go straight in. We want that fat side up. Lovely, in he goes. Uh, we can keep this Dr. Prepper as well. We can use that to baste it. So it's quite a nice thing to do. So you're getting that flavor back into the meat. Very nice. So, how long do we cook this for, you say? Okay, well, at this sort of temperature, we could cook it for a good hour. Um, you don't want to overcook it, you want it to be tough. You want it to be nice and tender. We'll see how we get on with it. I never really know how long it takes. It just, it's ready when it's ready. I know that sounds stupid, but that's just the way it is. So you just got to keep tending for it. Like a child, like I say. It's like parenthood, you know, you've got to keep giving. And all they do is take, take, take. And all that ham does is it takes from you. But then it gives you so much back at the end, like children do. Right, so in 15 minutes time, we'll have a look at it. Right, so the meat's been in there now for a good two hours. Um, what I've done every 15 minutes or so, I've just brought him out, given him a little baste. I put some more of that Dr. Pepper mix, mixture that we cooked him in, um, basted him with that. About 20 minutes ago, I took him out and I put him onto his back, put some more honey and mustard on him, slammed him back in. Now he's ready to come out. Ugh. As you can see, he's looking wonderful. Um, a good way to tell if he's cooked is put your meat thermometer in. If it's around 90, that's good. 90 Celsius. Generally what pork. Same sort of uh, temperature as that. I don't tend to use it on this. I just generally go by what it looks like. And this looks good to me. I'm just going to put a fork in it and see. Again, that little trick earlier. So... That's it, done, let him cool down and then carve him up. Let's put him there. So that's it, done. Thanks for joining me for these Christmas specials. Hope some of you are gonna try them out over the festive period. Um, hope you all have a great Christmas, good new year. Follow me on Instagram, check out my website. We'll see you in 2021. COVID free, hopefully. Merry Wixiemas. Mm -hmm.